We are going to talk about the PCORI fee. This is due July 31st of every year. So uh, today is July 13th, 2022. So if you've not done this yet, please get your pen <laughs> and printer warmed up because we are gonna go through it together today. So let's dive in. Okay, so what is PCORI? PCORI is the Patient Centered Outcomes Research Institute. And this fee came about with ACA. So the Patient Centered Outcomes Research Institute is a United States based nonprofit institute created through the 2010 Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act, also known as ACA or Obamacare. It's a government-sponsored organization charged with funding comparative effectiveness research that assists consumers, clinicians, purchasers, and policymakers to make informed decisions intended to improve healthcare at both the individual and population levels. According to the Institute of Medicine, Medicare considers the Institute's research in determining what sorts of therapies it will cover. Although the Institute's authorizing legislation sets certain limits on uses of the research by federal health agencies. So again, this came out after ACA in 2010 and every single health plan has a PCORI fee and it's automatically built in if you are self-insured. If you buy insurance directly through an Anthem Blue Cross or Aetna or United Healthcare, and it's fully insured, it's built in. However, if you have an HRA, a wrap plan, any kind of uh, self-funded or semi-self-funded or partially self-funded arrangement where you're paying a portion of the deductible for the employee and or co-pays, you are going to have an additional PCORI fee built in to that plan and you do have to submit payment to the IRS. And that is exactly what I am going to go over with you today. It's annual income, uh, so PCORI's organization, and you can go to PCORI.org here to learn more about that. The income comes from a general fund from the U.S. Tre Treasury and a small fee assessed on Medicare private health insurance plans and self-funded plans. The act mandated, so back in 2010, it was a $2 fee. It's more now, just a little bit more, not a ton more, and we'll go over that here in just a moment. It's adjusted for inflation every year. Each person, it's for each person, there's a fee for each person covered on a group health plan. Okay, so Patient Centered Outcomes Research Institute, PCORI fee is due by July 31st, 2022. July 31st falls on a Sunday this year, therefore payments may be submitted on Monday, August 1st, 2021. So there was a 10 year extension put on the PCORI fee. So the 10 year extension, and this is from the IRS's website directly, and please, note that this is not tax advice. I am not a tax professional. I simply work in health insurance and I just want to notify my clients of any of these fees that are coming down the pike. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to a tax professional. Okay, so there was a 10 year extension of the Patient Centered Outcomes Research Trust Fund Fee. The Further Consolidation Appropriations Act of 2020 signed into law on December 20, 2019, has extended the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Trust Fund fee exposed by, imposed by the Internal Revenue Code sections 4375 and 4376 for 10 years. As a result of this extension, the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Trust Fund fee will continue to be imposed through 2029. There was a year where it was not imposed and I think it fell off of some of the employer's radar. So this is gonna be with us <laughs> for the next few years. And uh, it's until 2029 at this point, it will probably be extended further. The Affordable Care Act imposes a fee on in 
insurers of specified health insurance policies and plan sponsors of applicable self-insured health plans to help fund the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, or PCORI. And you can go see more at the PCORI.org, as I said before. The fee required to be reported only, it's, it's required only to be reported on once a year on the second quarter form 720. And I will bring up that form for you so we can look at it together here in just a moment. Quarterly federal excise tax return and paid by its due date of July 31st is based on the average number of lives covered under the policy or plan. The fee applies to policy or plan years ending on or after October 1st, 2012. So it was not imposed. So even though the Affordable Care Act came out in 2010, this fee did not come out until 20. Uh, 12 and that's just simply what this is going over here before October 1st of 2029 the PCORI fee is filed using form 720 which we'll go over although form 720 is a quarterly return PCORI form 720 is filed only annually so it's a little bit of a confusing uh, form to use however uh, it's it's what's required Okay, sometimes it doesn't have to make sense, it just is. <laughs> Before the Bacori fee is calculated on the average number of lives covered under specific health insurance policy, generally issuers of specified insurance health policies must use one of the following four alternative methods to determine the average number of lives under, covered under policy for the year. And we'll go over uh, one of these. And so these are the four methods. You can take the actual count, snapshot, uh, member months method, uh, state form method. So you can come up with the annual number amount, uh, pick a random day, take a snapshot, or an actual count and actually go through and count um, every single person of every single month and, and go that way. All right. Again, if you have more questions about the methods, you may want to talk to a tax professional. We're going to go over specifically what EDIS is um, proposing for counting, and many TPAs do the same thing. So I think it captures exactly what you need to do. If you're self-funded or partially self-funded, your TPA will provide that number for you and, and help most of the time help guide you on that. And when I say TPA, I mean third party administrator. And in this case, we're just gonna look at EDIS. Okay, the fee is determined by two factors, last day of plan year in 2021, and the type of self-funded plan. An HRA or a MERP plan sponsor will apply the fee to the average enrolled employee count uh, which could be a MEC, an MVP plan sponsor will apply the fee to the average member count. So this is going to apply to the average enrolled employee count for my clients that are getting this um, email, okay? Sent this out in an email to my clients. The MEC and MVP plan sponsors, that is going to be a separate uh, employee count. If you have a MEC or MVP plan, you probably know you have a MEC or an MVP plan. And that is going to be sent out in a separate email if you are my client. Okay. But most people have an HRA. Okay. Uh, so most of them are going to fall under this HRA category. For plans with a policy year ending before October 1st, 2021, the fee is $2.66. For plans with a policy year ending after, on or after October 1st, 2021, the fee is $2.79. The fees are adjusted for inflation every year and they reset the fees every October 1st. So if you're before October 1st, 2021, you're gonna pay $2.66. If you fall after October 1st of 2021, your fee is gonna be $2.79. And then we're going to pull up the form and go over it together. 
use the IRS Form 720 to report and pay the PCORI fee. Although Form 720 is designed for quarterly payments and this certain application, it's only filed annually. So open your form, complete your general information. Second step is in quarter ending section, June 2022. So in quarter ending section, June 2022. Write your average number of employees or members. You should be able to see this on a billing statement in part two of the form on lines marked IRS number 133. Employers should only use the line for applicable self-insured health plans. You will need to multiply your average number either by 266 or 279 the and enter it in the box on the same line <clears throat> fill out total amount <clears throat> at the bottom of part two recording all right so we are going to pull up the form 720 here for you this is what it looks like 720 again it says quarterly don't worry about that for the pcori fee it's only annual so we are going to start real simple just with your company name and address you're going to put june 2022 and quarter ending and your employer tax id number all right we're going to go all the way down to part two till we see this patient-centered outcomes research fee okay and we're going to go to line 133 applicable self-insured health plans so this is if you have an HRA, a MEC plan, MVP plan, self-insured, partially self-insured plan where you're paying a portion of the, the deductible. Okay, so you're either gonna be here or here. All right, and depending on where your plan falls, you, put, you pick one or the other, put your employee count here or here. Total goes here, total also goes here carry the total down to the bottom of part two here and you're going to carry it down again to line three here and then again here to line 10. sign date title print your name go all the way down to the voucher fill out the voucher dollars and cents employer tax id again you're gonna complete the second quarter. Enter in your business name and address, and that's it. Okay, I'm also going to go over this nice layout here. I really like the way Edis put these instructions together. I think it's really easy to read, so I wanna go over it with you. Hopefully you find value from it. So if this breaks down your fees depending on when your plan renews. So if you're May, if you're June 1st, which a lot of people are, it's 266. But if you're January 1st, you're this line 279. All right. So you start out real simple. You can look at your most recent bill from your TPA. Here, EDIS shows exactly where they break down their PCORI count. So you go off the employee count if you are a HRA plan. If you are MVP or MEC, you're gonna go off of the lives or the member count, which is 15 in this example. So again, you start out real simple. This is the top of the form that we just went over, but just to reiterate it here again, you put your company name, your address, June 2022, and the tax ID. And you scroll all the way down to part two, fill out the applicable self-insured health plan section where you fill out either C or D line with the number count here, number count here times the 266 or the 279, total here or here, carry it over to the right, carry it down to the bottom for the total under Part two, we go to part three, line three, put the total there. Then you go to line 10, carry the total down again. <laughs> your signature, the date, your title, and then print your name. 
Go all the way through the form to the last page, complete your voucher, fill in the dollars and cents, check the box for the second quarter, your company name, oh, your employer tax ID number here, your employer name, and the address. Then you submit the payment with the forms to this address listed here, the Department of Treasury, okay? So that's it. Again, this is not tax advice. I'm not a tax professional. <laughs> Double check your work with your tax professional and let me know if you have any questions or let your tax guy know if you have any questions <laughs> and we'll talk soon. All right, so if you're my client, you can schedule a call with Mel just by sim simply clicking the link below or in the email I sent you through Calendly to schedule a call with me to go over this together and answer any questions that you have. If you are not a client and you have questions about this, you would fill out the efficiency follow-up questionnaire slash application to see if I can help you in any way or in, and answer any questions. Uh, thank you for hanging out with me today and we will talk soon.